Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Battleship 321, blasting at you, and today I will be giving you my video review of Transformers Rise of the Beasts Mainline Voyager Class Optimus Primal. Or, as it can also be called, Poptimus Prime, because he's kind of like a dad almost sometimes. Let's see in the animated series. So now we have him in all of his glory right here. He comes packaged in robot mode, so we will be starting off with the robot mode as usual. Take a look at some of the detail we got on him. A lot of cool molded in detail. Take a look at that head sculpt. Got some nice blue eyes. Even though in the movie, his eyes were green. Very good molded in detail. I didn't really have any other Beast Wars characters growing up. But, again, I'm getting these from these characters because they kind of... It blends what I like about the Bay and what I could have liked about the uh, the, beast, the um, beast Wars. And here, it's good old Optimus Primal looking really cool. Uh, no different heads, unless you can count the monkey head. Alright, some really cool detail. Kind of like a machine and fur at the same time. I really like it. I can definitely see, like, an all-silver version of this. Or at least a mostly silver version of this. Or hell, even swap the colors on this one, make what's... What's like fur and all this? Make all this silver, and then make the, these bits black, and give them a bit of a different head sculpt. And boom, you got a blink. Just give them some extra porch or something. Have them have those weird arm blades or whatever, you know. Anyway, he does come with these two swords, both the same sword. Not bad. Very nice detail going on there. And they just plug into his hands. So he can really start to... You know... Kick some ass. If you're a fan of the background, it, I got it going this time because it is really hot in my room right now. So anyway, articulation, you got 90 degrees that way, you got 100, or 360 degrees this way. Head is on a ball joint, so you do get quite a bit of movement there. Doesn't spin all the way around, but now you don't really need it to spin around. Legs move forward, legs move back. About that far, but if you move his butt plate up, you can get a little extra room. That hinge. Even though on bit of a transfer part of the transformation you do have this this bit here eh. double hinge I don't really have do have a bit of an ankle rock I uh, have these but those are mainly for transformation which might I say is very simple uh, if you want to you can move these shoulder bits if you want to I just keep them down You have a little bit of a, excuse me, Ooh, you have a bit of a um, ball joint there, move out that far, forward, back. You do kind of have a waist swivel, but that's mostly for transformation. And speaking of, let's get to it. First off, what we're going to do is sure that butt flaps up so what we're gonna do is gonna take these panels out of his legs we're going to fold these little outside toes in fold them in bring this up 
I'm going to turn this around. Bring the chest out. Bring these out. And oh my god, two heads? So you pull this out. Spin it around. Pop back in. Bring this chest up. Push this one in. Then bring this chest up. And close it together. Okay. Close, that, close that down. And then you kind of bring this up. And bring it down like that. Do it with the same on the other leg. Is there anything to clap it onto? No? Alright. Just kind of bring this forward. Turn his arms. Go, kind of bring his head up. And there he is. And there we have Optimus Primal in his robot mode. Good to kind of. Kind of get him to kind of walk on his own. Like a monkey. Again, there's a lot of really good sculpted detail, especially on the head there. Again, eyes are blue when they're supposed to be green. That's probably one of the only errors that I have with this figure. Uh, again, I do have the leader class on pre-order, so... Expect that in the, uh, in the future. Articulation is almost about the same. A bit of heat in, out. Let's see, not much has changed. Just kind of like rotated the waist, flipped the feet in, and swapped the heads. And turned these arms. And that's essentially all you got. Okay. Uh, this head does have a little bit of movement. Other than just moving up. Just have a little bit of left and right. A little bit more up. Sure, of course, got down. A little bit of side to side. Barely. I mean, I do like it. It'll be a, a fun little figure. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection. Speaking of my collection, let's do a size comparison. We got little. A little microwave. Or Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Shockwave. See, this looks like it's in scale. We have Fans Hobby Naval Commander. Which is a decent size in his own right. We're gonna heat these done. It's not that big by any means. He's a decent size, and I do enjoy it. Just some bits of the color. Just had me off a little bit. Now, my question. That I have yet to answer. Does he fit in the chair? Let's get him into robot mode. Why not the answer to that question? Come that around. Thank God I have nails for this. If not, you probably have to use like a flathead screwdriver or something. I'm just wondering how this is on a slider. That's nice. So you can have have kind of like both chests. Pull that out. Turn that around. The monkey chest in first. Then bring up the robot chest. Turn the arms. Now, does he fit in the chair? And 
And the answer is... Kind of? Can, can we get him in the chair? Can we get him in the chair? Barely. <laughs> just barely. You can just barely get him in the chair. Okay. I guess I'll just have to see if, uh, when I eventually get the leader class in, see how he, he is in the chair. Probably the leader class will be freaking massive, apparently. I'm give him some pretty decent poses. And the storage for the weapons essentially is the same as the monkey mode. Just pop them on his back. Like so. And there we are. Again, I'm probably mainly going to keep him in monkey mode. Because I like the monkey mode and the robot mode. But hey, I found mine at my local store. Uh, for some reason, Hasbro Pulse and People at Toy Store don't sell the mainline versions of these characters, which I find confusing. Because they have Studio Series and Legacy, but they don't have the Rise of the Beast mainline. I wonder why that is. Anyway. Go check out my TikTok, where I post some videos when I want to, and uh, definitely drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. I'll be putting a poll up either after this goes up or uh, the following day. To get your opinion on who I should do next. And I'm thinking on either doing... Either... Legacy Evolution Elita 1. Kingdom Red Alert. Or... Studio Series Bumblebee... Wheeljack. So, definitely uh, like, comment, and definitely put a like down below and comment who you would like to see next. This has been Battleship 321, signing out.